Well, 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 here we are after another major update that has changed the game completely. However, this time for good rather than bad. If you are watching this video right now, chances are you are a controller player on PC or console wondering what the heck all these new sensitivity settings are. Moreover, believe me when I say that I felt the same when I first heard that these changes are coming. But don't be worried, because our partners and pro analysts have found the new best and most updated sensitivity settings and how to perfect your aim in no time. Here at ProGuides, we're always looking out for you guys. We strive hard to get you guys the best content imaginable. Every video uses a lot of resources, so to show your support, drop a like on this video and subscribe. Thank you guys for everything! Okay, so real quick, before we get into it, you guys know the drill. ProGuides.com for all the latest updates and 24-7 pro coaching from some of the best of the best. So don't forget to visit our website by clicking the link in the description below. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Starting, we can see that the standard settings tab is grayed out for a lot of the major settings. This is because there's a new settings tab directly next to it. The reason for this is because the new sensitivity settings are so advanced that they decided to make a whole other settings page for it instead of having it all cluttery on the screen. Looking at the first setting, we see the basic sensitivities that preceded the new update. You have 1 through 10, which acts exactly like before. There we can see the standard X and Y labeled as look sensitivity, and the classic ADS, which is called aim sensitivity. Some of you may have realized, but where is the X and Y sensitivity? If they updated aiming to make it better, they should have the option to change these two separate, right? Well, we'll get into that in just a moment, and believe me when I say you won't be upset. Below these, we have the edit mode and build multipliers, which act just the same as before. Now is where it starts to get interesting. At the very bottom, we see a setting called use advanced options. This setting opens up a whole new world of aiming. Moving ahead and switching this setting to on will allow users to explore these options. On top of the first group of settings, we see unique look sensitivity and under it, six different bars. So what do all of these essentially do? Well, the first two columns are the classic X and Y sensitivity that we were all used to. They changed the decimal forms to percentages to make it relatively more comfortable to understand. Six sensitivity would be 60% and so on. You can also fine tune the sensitivity by playing it at something like 65%. Below these two, we have something called the horizontal and vertical boost. These are one of the coolest aspects of the new sensitivity update, and they implement a mechanic that is in almost every popular shooter in the world. This is known as acceleration. Turning acceleration is a new feature which allows your controller to actually multiply your turning speed when you push your analog stick against the very edge of the radius that it moves within. So imagine literally having super fast sensitivity uncontrollable on controller. Putting this sensitivity at 100% will double whatever sensitivity you're using if you push the analog stick all the way to the left. So what's the point of this setting? This actually gives controller players a chance at being as fast as PC players. By fine tuning this and putting it at the right speed, you can flick around while still being able to aim slowly with good aim. Now, the setting under it labeled turning boost ramp time is how long it will take for your acceleration to reach its max speed. If you're playing on 7 sensitivity and you have both your boosts on 100%, let's say that your ramp boost time is on 0 seconds. This means that your controller will instantly turn at 14 sensitivity as soon as you push your analog stick to the edge. This is a little hard to control if you have it on zero, but don't worry because we'll be going over the best sensitivity in just a moment here. Now at the very bottom, we see a setting known as instant boost when building. This essentially cancels out whatever sensitivity you had for the boost ramp time whenever you switch to building mode. This makes your turning boost ramp time instant regardless of what you put it on before. In the next group, we have the advanced aim down sight sensitivity, which is basically the classic ADS with a twist. You can now adjust your ADS sensitivity just as well as your normal look sensitivity. What this does is gives you a lot of options at improving your aim when you're aiming down sights. Now, although this setting is great, it's actually not the best if you already have good aim. What you're going to want to do with this is adjust it based on how you play. Put the focus on your ability to aim when scoped and you'll be able to see what you need to change. Let's say that you tend to aim a little towards the upside when you usually aim, meaning your aim is always a little bit too high. You could decrease the ADS vertical sensitivity to counteract this mistake that you make, and that's basically how this should be used. Now, of course, some players will use this to improve their aim. The way they will do this is by lowering their vertical boost anyways in order to get more accurate long shots, but this isn't always good in Fortnite. Having it too low will make it so that you won't be able to play as well in close range, where ADSing will be slower. So we recommend that you adjust it based on your play style. Another thing that you can do is adjust it if you know that you're a player that likes to play up close or far. 
Some players may be more comfortable with slower aiming if their playstyle consists of lasering from a distance rather than close-up fights. Now, to give you a quick rundown, the horizontal and vertical boosts work exactly the same way as the previous settings, and so does the ramp boost time. Moving on to the final group, we have the advanced sensitivity settings, which are another layer of advanced settings to go on top of all the other sensitivity settings. First up, we have look dampening time, which pretty much adds a delay to your aiming. This is meant for players that play on really high sensitivities, but in our opinion, it's going to be useless for the sensitivity we have, as it's going to be a perfect speed that doesn't need any delay. The problem with adding a delay is that it makes your sensitivity less responsive, which is crucial in fast-paced fights where you need to make fast movements in place. Look input curve is going to be a bit hard to explain, but to say it simply, you're going to want to keep it on exponential. This is because exponential makes it so that your stick won't be as responsive to smaller stick movements, which will make your aim easier to control. Having it on linear feels completely different and has almost a mouse feel, which is not suitable for people playing with analog sticks. This will also affect your gameplay on a colossal scale, as the entire Fortnite career that you've been used to has been playing on exponential. Making the change to linear will mess with your muscle memory significantly and will feel like you're starting all over. It's a very game-changing mechanic that isn't always useful, so we once again recommend keeping it on exponential. For aim assist strength, we strongly recommend you put this on 100% to get the most accurate aim. Aim assist has always been a significant part of Fortnite, and we still want to keep this working as much as possible. With the recent update, Epic has actually taken away left trigger spamming, which was a massive aspect of Fortnite controller aiming. With this update, what you're going to want to do is really focus on keeping your aim on a target and tracking. Thankfully though, they also strengthened aim assist, making it better, so it makes up for the removal of LT spam. At this point, we've covered every aspect of the new aiming system except one more setting at the end. This setting is called Legacy Look Controls. What legacy aiming is, is essentially a throwback to the old aiming system. Some players may not be comfortable with the new aiming system and would prefer to use the older, much simpler one, so legacy mode gives you that ability. Switching legacy on will gray out the entire new sensitivity tab and will open up the old sensitivity columns that were grayed out. This is always an option, but we highly suggest that you guys use the new system as it's more comprehensive and will allow for much better control over your aim. Plus, the further aim assist is much better. Since we've covered everything you need to know about the new aiming system, let's take a look at the new best sensitivity. We've gathered data from multiple pro controller players and have found a new universal sensitivity that can be used by all players after the new update. We highly suggest that you use this. Starting from the top, we're going to go straight down the list with a little explanation. For build mode and edit mode, we're going to be putting these both at 2.0. This will not only allow you to have a familiar building speed, but it will also allow for better control over your builds, which will help you significantly over the long run. Although edit and build mode can be switched all the way up to 5.0, it's way too fast to actually be useful in real games unless you're using a very slow sensitivity, which is something you never really want to do. Going into advanced look sensitivity, you're going to set your horizontal to 54% and your vertical the same. Keeping these two equal will make it much easier for your muscle memory to learn the new sensitivity. Now to be able to have a PC-like advantage, we're going to set a horizontal boost along with a boost ramp time. For horizontal, this should be set to 16% and 1.0 seconds for boost ramp time. What this does is allow you to have a boost to your spinning, allowing you to turn around and build boxes faster. We set it to 1 second so that it doesn't affect your normal sensitivity as much as it usually would. Set instant boost when building to off and let's move on to advanced aim down sights. Have your horizontal and vertical on 17% as we're going to want to keep this the same as mentioned before. This is a good sensitivity for far shots and overall ADS speed. We're going to keep horizontal and vertical boosts for this one off because acceleration isn't something we want when trying to be very accurate. As for look dampening time, we'll be keeping it on zero as mentioned before, as well as having exponential aim selected. Aim assist on 100% and you now have a perfect sensitivity. Now, although this is a great sensitivity for all players to use, we highly suggest that you fine tune it to your needs. Every player is different and has different needs when playing. Some are more reactive and have good reaction times, where some can be more accurate from farther rather than up close, and vice versa. So it's really important that your sensitivity fits you. We recommend that you spend at least one hour in creative after you put the sensitivity on so that you can see how it fits you. If you do find that it's too fast, go ahead and switch it down and tune the settings to your needs. Everyone's different, so don't be worried if you find this isn't making you aim at your full potential. But this will work very well for most and is a great starting point for everyone else. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We spent a lot of time doing research and making sure it's the best one out there, so be sure to leave a thumbs up and comment on what your thoughts are. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.